approach runway 25 left at Brussels airport. Uh, autopilot is now in control. Uh, we'll begin preparing for the final landing and below 2,000 feet, flaps two and gear down. checklist on the ECAM. That should be full. So flaps three, set and flaps full. Set. Uh, we'll be simulating a go-round uh, when we're reaching minimums and we won't see the runway inside. Uh, go-round procedure for Brussels 25 left is within the chart. For go around, we'll climb to 700 feet, then turn heading 119 and intercept uh, Foxtrot Lima Oscar VOR on course 265 and climb to altitude 4500. So we have everything set up, altitude 4500 and speed is good and we're ready to plan landing checklist. Cabin crew advised, auto total is speed, auto brake is no and eco manual landing no blue so we continue 500 500 runway is not inside minimum is 200 feet above runway 400 100 above 100 above <coughs> And approaching minimums, autopilot is off. Minimum. Minimum is on, we're not going go around. Immediately pulling up and thrust to go around and flaps one notch up. So flaps three. When positive climb is reached, uh, command for gear up. Go so gear up. And flaps two. And 700 feet, we can turn towards 119. 119 or follow the flight director. And first to climb. Flaps one. And flaps up. So we're climbing to 4,500 feet and on heading 119er, LS mode off and VOR mode on, so we would intercept the VOR. Already 4,000 feet, your bus is climbing at a very high rate. And 4,000. And heading 119. Um, just a small correction will be needed to intercept 265 outbound radial for PR Foxton Lima Oscar, and then we would go for another turn. Uh, the co pilot in the meantime would do after takeoff uh, checklist as is after normal takeoff, and the next landing would be made again if. Still, the runway would not be inside. Then an alternative airport probably would be would be selected, and we'd go there and land at another airport. So this is the main procedure for the go round. We're inbound for again two five left at Brussels airport and descending to eight thousand feet at flight level one seven zero. And engine flame mode. Half of the cockpit immediately goes to blank. Autopilot is off and not available. 
emergency power turns on. Now the important thing is that we have fuel available. If we have fuel available, that means that we can turn on the APU. So APU immediately on and we start to trying to relight the engines. So start. Thrust levers idle. And we continue to descend at about 1,300-1,600 feet per minute and search immediately for the nearest airport. Uh, we are currently pretty high above Brussels, so we should be able to land at Brussels International. And APU is starting. Trying not to lose the airspeed too much. And the APU is, has started. So we have power back on. We reset the flight controls. And then we have flight director available. Alright, engines didn't restart, so we don't have any engines. Let's try again engine masters to off, and we'll try to turn them to on in about 30 seconds. In the meantime, APU bleed is on We're good LS is available we start turning towards the runway the co-pilot in the meantime says the squawk to 7700 contacts the ATC informs that we have emergency on board uh, to let the airport know that we're coming in and let's start again engine masters on And cabin to secure the cabin, prepare for emergency landing. And for landing, we'll be using flaps three and higher speed. Um, for approach, we have a green dot speed uh, on the main display that is around 190. We should keep it at all times. And final approach speed will be 150. And landing speed, something less we won't have auto brake just 1000 psi on the brakes from the accumulator and so on the hydraulics are not working so we won't be able to extend the landing gear with the lever we'll have to use it with gravity extension at around 5000 feet and the main difference uh, and this if we have fuel and if we don't have any fuel uh, the main difference is that without any fuel we wouldn't be able to deploy the APU and we would have to use the RAT uh, a small propeller that descends from the, from the bell, bell of the plane to power the plane in this case we have the APU and we have some hydraulic power and also electricity enough for everything Runway is in sight and keep the plane higher and faster than we would on the normal approach, of course. Thousand sent it two thousand speed one nine one nine zero. Okay, let's start deploying the flaps. Flaps one. They deploy very slowly. And let's decrease the speed a bit with speed brakes. Okay, and gear extension, manual, and you can feel the gear down, gear doors open, and unlock, Let's check if they are down, one down, and all three down. So 
case. Anyway. Right, so this is the procedure for fuel engine failure approach and landing on with fuel available. Uh, we'll do the same just from Madeira airport and uh, with ditching on water and without fuel. We'll see how it goes then. Mm -hmm. 